Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm your host, Jim Goddard. We're speaking with Bill McWilliam, President and CEO of Cascadero Copper. Welcome to the show, Bill. Yeah, thanks very much, Jim. Can you tell us a bit about Cascadero Copper? Right. Uh, we started the company in 2004 in uh, Argentina, which was a perfect timing on our part. And it was a design, the business plan is designed as a property generator. And we had a geochemical database, which was uh, absolutely fundamental to the project. And we looked at uh, the business plan was real simple. Just go into the field. Our, our core competency was boot and hammer prospecting, which isn't too popular anymore. But uh, we uh, went into the field, and the idea was just to, to find as many large-scale alteration systems that had evidence of mineralization in them. And uh, we ended up looking at about 140 properties in the first uh, three years, and we acquired 76 of them, I believe was the number. And we still have most of those. We're working our way through them right now. So on the way through, we've we found um, a very unusual deposit, and it's a it's a sediment hosted cesium deposit. Cesium is a rare metal, not known to occur in epithermal deposits in any any kind of volume. Uh, it normally occurs in a in a pegmatite, which is uh, with the mineral polyusite. And those are, there's three or four hundred of those that have been drilled in, in the world. That a, uh, the, the polyusite and cesium that is derived therefrom has a market in the oil and gas industry and it's, it, it's the largest volume user of a, of a product called cesium formate. And it's, uh, controlled. The interesting part of where we're at right now, and this is a little bit of serendipity, is that there are two companies, two mines, that have dominated the cesium business for the last 20, 25 years. The first mine is called, uh, is run by Cabot Corp, which is a U.S. based, uh, industrial company that trades on the New York Stock Exchange and that, uh, that property is in Manitoba, Canada. And it's under a lake and it's got uh, some issues with uh, ground falls and it's gonna at some point give way and fill the mine full of water and sterilize the deposit. On the other side of the planet, we've got the second one. That was, sorry, the uh, Burnick Lake was, it controlled about uh, 80% of the cesium market in the world. But the second one was a, a, a mine called Bikita. It's in uh, Zimbabwe. And it's essentially a lithium mine, but it's very rich in cesium as well. So they sold the cesium as a byproduct to the global market. And that sometimes was as high as 25% of the market, but normally in the 20s. And um, it has just recently run into trouble with respect to the cesium zone, the polyzite zone in that deposit. Uh, the pegmatites form like onions. They form in discrete layers built just exactly like an onion. And one of the layers in the Bikita mine is ri- very rich in cesium. And it produced for, it was found in 19, found 65 years ago and it's been in production on of uh lithium pretty much uh, without without fail and and it's been on and off for uh, shipping cesium it now has uh, no cesium left in the mine and they're working on their stockpiles and uh, we don't know how extensive they are but they're not going to last for very long so we're in the position of uh, uh getting ready to drill this property called Tehran it's uh, not a high grade cesium deposit but it's got it's very large and it's going we think have the largest volume of cesium larger than both of those two other mines put together and that we're conducting a drill program we started tomorrow or the next day we'll have a 29 hole drill program going it'll last for about 50 days or so and at that point we should have a a resource that we can build a metric on a valuation metric 4311 style. We have with QAQ people all the place to do that. And then we'll be in, in, I think, a logical, um, alternative to the, one of the two, uh, companies that own those, that, uh, control those two mines. <clears throat> so that's where we're at on that one particular property. It was, uh, our best property right from the beginning in terms of its grade. And we did some hydrometallurgical work at UBC. 
and it uh, the positive, very positive uh, aspect of the mineralization is that the run of mine that is ore right out of the ground uh, with a simple crushing it leaches with sulfuric acid, and we get extremely high values. So it's a it's a very interesting project that has uh, has some legs here. We think. Phil, can you maybe tell us what cesium is and what it's used for? Well, cesium is a rare metal. It is used, it's got a wide variety of applications. The, the largest volume use is in the uh, oil and gas industry for deep uh, offshore well drilling. It's uh, soluble in water. It's benign to all of the life in the ocean. Uh, the uh, the uh, main applications that are increasing are catalysts, for example, Sumitomo, Mitsubishi have big plastic plants, and they use cesium catalysts to uh, cool that, it, that to form the plastic at a lower temperature, so it saves a lot of money. There's a large and growing pharmaceutical business for cesium medical products. Uh, it uh, is very useful in uh, curing cancer. There's a little company called Isoray that's done a lot of work in that area, and they're having great, great success. It's just many small applications build this company. 75% of the volume is still in the cesium uh, formate business, but we're not going to be producing cesium formate. We're going to produce the substrate. It's called cesium hydroxide, which is the substrate for all other chemical, all other cesium compounds. So we'll be able to address a wide variety of clientele, and it's a very large market. How rare is cesium, and how big of a deal is it that you found some? <laughs> it's a big deal that we found it, and the only reason we did find it was we decided uh, when we put the business plan together, Tom knew that the alteration and mineralization of properties of lots of Argentine uh, properties were different than in Canada or the United States or Mexico where we've worked before. So we used the 53 element ICP, it's an assay technique that included cesium and we had no idea where we were finding, uh, gonna find a cesium deposit. But that's how it was actually found, it was a geochemical discovery. And we've been working on that property ever since and now we're ready to uh, develop it. Cesium is, has a parts per million in the Earth's crust of about 4 ppm, which is very low. So I think it's number 43 or so in terms of rarity. But it's not, uh, it's rare metal properties are industrial applications now. Like, uh, it's very similar to something like a platinum deposit, which has a whole bunch of industrial applications, aside from being a rare metal that jewelry is made out of. So cesium is quite different than that. It's an industrial metal that is uh, very rare, and we're very fortunate to have a deposit that uh, may be the largest one on the planet. Where can people uh, find out more about Cascadero Copper, and where is it traded? It uh, Cascadero Copper trades under the ticker symbol of CCD on the TSX Venture Exchange. We have a website cascaderocopper.com which we're completely rebuilding and it's almost finished at this point but there's enough information on there to uh, garner a, a pretty good idea of what we're doing. Failing that, everybody that wants uh, more information can email me directly and I can send them the internal reports that we've built for that property over the, over the period of years. Bill's email is bill at cascadero.com cascadero spelled C-A-S C-A-D-E-R-O, or you can give them a phone call, 604-924-5504. And for people who are wondering, we were talking with Bill McWilliam on February 28, 2017. Bill, thank you so much for giving us an update. Yeah, very good, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. My guest has been Bill McWilliam, President and CEO of Cascadero Copper, his website, cascadero.com. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at howstreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.